Right now at 10, snow continues overnight. A look at the commute for early morning drivers. And an affordable housing project is approved to go into the River Point District. Plus, new vaccine rules shot down. Wisconsin Republicans block a new policy for meningitis and chickenpox immunizations. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. The snow has been falling on this alert day, so let's go to our First Warren Center and First Warren Meteorologist Eric Dean with the latest. Good evening, Ken. Good evening, everybody. Hey, guess what? Some places have already received as much as four inches of snow oh already. Yeah. La Crosse is one of those cities, so uh, our forecast is looking pretty in check right now. Good evening, everybody. Here's a look at the Dean's List as we head into your evening and overnight hours. First of all, that moderate snow is going to continue throughout the evening and overnight hours. Four to eight inches, not out of the question. Some places have already received four inches, and you'll continue to see a little bit more as we go into the overnight hours. But that system is going to clear out Friday by the noon hour. So tomorrow morning, if you have to head out, plan for low visibility due to wind, the slick roads, sidewalks, bridges, and overpasses. As you know, those are the first things to freeze and expect some delays in your morning commute. Simply put, give yourself an extra half hour to get to your morning destination. Now, over the past several hours, Eau Claire just picking up under an inch over towards the Mondovi area, two inches, Cataract area, three inches, three and a half inches towards Nielsville. Some of the big winners, La Crosse, four inches of snow. Same over towards the new Lisbon area. Richland Center, three inches. Dorchester, five and a half inches of snow. New Albany picking up at uh, 2.7 inches. Now, we're still seeing the radar uh, in full swing tonight. You can see the majority of the News 8 Now viewing area still seeing snow. Portions of Russ County not seeing much of anything. And over towards Winnesheek and Alma Key County uh, seeing uh, some clearing out as well. Now, we are getting some new information. And in. looks like from the National Weather Service, the winter storm warning, uh, they are going to continue that. Uh, just to the west of us, the winter storm warning has been canceled and replaced. This is just now coming through uh, with a winter weather advisory. So the winter storm warning just to the west of us is being downgraded. And you can see right there on the map uh, what's flickering, what's new uh, at this time. The, this is just off the printer as of the top of the hour. So uh, what we'll do, Ken, is uh, coming up in the first one forecast, we're going to analyze this map a little bit more as there's changes coming. Yep. And uh, we'll let you guys know the latest and greatest in just a few minutes. Sounds like a plan. Yep. Thanks, Eric. You bet. And in light of the snow falling today, the city of La Crosse has issued a snow emergency, which kicked into effect officially at 6 p.m. today. That means alternate side parking is now in effect. So on even numbered days, you'll be parking on the side of the street with even numbered addresses. And then on the odd days, you're on the odd numbered side. A project bringing housing to the future River Point District is approved by La Crosse's Common Council. The 120 unit building is the first to be approved on the now empty site off Copeland Avenue. Units will be built for families and seniors and available at 80% below the county median income. La Crosse's Director of Planning says affordable housing is necessary for new growth. Something that we hear from developers, from potential residents, that's something that's very clear that we need additional housing of all kinds in the city of La Crosse. Train says she hopes families will move in and stay in La Crosse when there's more affordable housing. She adds this will also help local school enrollment numbers and give the community an economic boost. The project is estimated to cost roughly $29 million. Also at Common Council tonight, the approval of the sale of the Harry J. Olson Senior Center. The council unanimously approved the sale, including an approval for a roof repair. The building was sold to the Harry J. Olson nonprofit group for $1. The building will still serve as a polling location during elections. And as we get closer to our next election day on April 4th, the La Crosse School District is trying to spread the word about its latest referendum up for a vote. News 8 Now's Anna Fisher attended tonight's latest referendum info session. Anna, good evening to you. How's the district going about educating voters about how this referendum could change, change the future of public education? who will be voting on a $60 million referendum. This $60 million referendum extends the operational referendum approved by voters in 2018. A lack of state funding, declining enrollment, and aging facilities is leading the district to ask for more support from... having a hard time trusting the district after the controversy over November's referendum. One community member says she wants to see more focus on the teachers. 
If you would tell me that a percentage of this was going to go just for teacher increase pay, I would be completely supportive. But you don't. Carla Doolittle is a property owner in La Crosse, and she was hoping for more transparency about the referendum at tonight's meeting. And there's a lot of things that are hidden on the website. It's hard to find things on the website, and some things they don't put up on the website until somebody sends them an email. With our union representation on the school district's website with a link to the referendum info on the front page. And the site also has a tax, Im tax impact calculator. According to the calculator, the referendum will cost taxpayers just under $30 a year for every $100,000 in property value. You can also view presentations on the April referendum and the district's long-range facility plan. Ken? All right, thanks very much, Anna. And there are three more of these info sessions. The next one happens next Wednesday at Emerson Elementary School at 6 p.m. Well, there was a large police presence at a property in Vernon County overnight. The Vernon County Sheriff's Office got a call from a person in another state about an individual having a mental health emergency at a house in the town of Kickapoo. The call came in around 1030 last night. According to Sheriff Roy Torgerson, a large crew of emergency responders were brought to the scene because of threats made by the individual. There were um, substantial safety uh, concerns about officers approaching the residents. Uh, therefore, we had to set up a perimeter and uh, continued to evaluate the, the, the situation. Late this morning, after using a fire department drone to search the property first, crews got the individual out of the house and into an ambulance to be taken for treatment. Sheriff Torgerson says there's no danger to the public. He says there didn't seem to be any criminal activity, so he doesn't expect any charges to be filed. A reminder, if you are struggling with mental health and thoughts of suicide, you can call 988 at any time to get help. You can also text HOME to 741741 to reach a crisis counselor 24-7. Wisconsin Republicans shot down a new vaccine mandate plan for Wisconsin students. Governor Tony Evers' plan required students to get vaccinated against meningitis and tightened chickenpox vaccine requirements. At an Administration Rules Committee hearing yesterday, Republican lawmakers questioned Department of Health Services officials. State Senator Steve Nass says he doesn't trust officials after their COVID shutdown rules. When we look at that past history, and a number of things that were just flat out wrong and kids have been harmed because of the school shutdowns. How do we trust you? Nass also said the new rules create what he calls undue hardships on parents. Republicans argued that the risk of not vaccinating their kids is a choice for parents to make. Public health officials say the issue is about a larger concern than just a single child. But by reducing the number of people with symptomatic disease as much as we can, we reduce the likelihood that these dangerous germs will be spreading in a school or in a daycare. The people who are working in public health aren't nameless people creating rules arbitrarily or capriciously, but people who truly care about preventing bad things from happening to people in Wisconsin. The Rules Committee blocked the new rules along party lines, voting 6-4 to four to stop the policy. Minnesota lawmakers are advancing a bill requiring all state public schools to have a supply of the opioid reversal drug Narcan. The bill says the state's education department would reimburse districts for the cost. State data shows the number of hospital visits for non-fatal overdoses among children age school-age children actually tripled from 2016 to 2021. And as, of course, the synthetic opioid fentanyl is now fueling a national crisis, advocates are defending this bill as a potential life-saving measure. We do not have an epidemic of heart attacks, yet we require all public schools in Minnesota to have an operational AED on school grounds at all times. The Narcan in Schools bill is moving on to another Senate committee. Meanwhile, a House panel approved legislation to boost funding for the distribution of those Narcan kits. After the break, a recall for baby toys. The CPSC says there are multiple reports of babies dying from choking on a small part of a toy. And mortgage rates are rising. The Federal Reserve may not be done making moves to cool inflation. Don't miss out. Ashley's new lower prices are here. And get ready. The orange event at Ashley is coming soon. For three days only, shop in store or online for the biggest event of the year. Or shop now with financing options for every budget. Only at Ashley.
High costs and hassles keeping you from building your new home? How about a new factory-built home from Town & Country Housing? Town & Country Homes are $20 to $40 less per square foot than site-built homes. And once your home arrives at your site, it will be completed in weeks, not months. Choose from numerous plans, exterior features, cabinet choices, and even fireplaces. Let Town & Country help make your new home a reality. Business Highway 53 between Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. Or visit the website at townandcountryhousing.com. Honey, where are the kids? I put them in the furnace so I could figure out why we don't have any heat. You did what? We just have loose wire. Maybe it's that plug vent. Maybe it's the bad igniter. Maybe it's a dirty flame sensor. Or maybe, maybe. Why don't we just call JT Heat and Air Conditioning? Quality you can count on, experience you can trust. With over 50 years of combined experience, GT services residential and commercial customers within 50 miles of West Salem. Don't miss out. Ashley's new lower prices are here. And get ready. The orange event at Ashley is coming soon. For three days only, shop in store or online for the biggest event of the year. Or shop now with financing options for every budget. Only at Ashley. No relief yet for homeowners. Mortgage rates took a jump for the fifth week in a row. 30-year fixed rates are closing in on 7%. And just a year ago, it was 3.85%. Now, the market had seen rates trending down between November and February. Economists believe the Federal Reserve is not done in its battle to cool the U.S. economy. They say it's likely the Fed will keep hiking that benchmark lending rate. The FDA is calling on the powdered baby formula industry to do a better job keeping harmful bacteria out of its products. The agency sent out a letter urging compliance with existing requirements and asking for voluntary reporting of positive bacteria tests. It says companies should reduce the amount of water in dry production areas, test surfaces for bacteria, and make sure raw ingredients are safe. Now, it comes after multiple brands of powdered formula were recalled in recent months. A recall of more than 3 million calico critter toys is in progress after two children died. The toys were sold in a set with baby bottle and pacifier accessories, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission says they pose a serious choking hazard for small children. A New Jersey company imported the toys from China and says it is aware of three incidents so far. The Calico Critter toys were sold at Walmart, Meyer, as well as on Amazon between January 2000 and December 2021. Meanwhile, a popular treat at Walt Disney World is now spreading to the masses. The tropical soft serve Dole Whip will soon be sold in stores nationwide in pineapple, mango, and strawberry flavors. The dairy-free frozen treat has been sold at Magic Kingdom since 1984. So now instead of paying thousands of dollars to get down to Florida for a chance to try it, soon it'll just be a quick trip to the grocery store. Well, Minnesota has seen plenty of snow this winter, and that may mean a larger flood risk during the spring thaw. We'll have those details just ahead. And the advisories are still in play until 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we have the winter storm warning as well as that winter weather advisory. And you can see right here on the radar scan, everybody in the News 8 Now viewing area is seeing snow at this hour. We'll break everything down hour by hour in the first warm forecast on your side of the break. Stay with us. Make next winter fun for your family with Mount Lacrosse. Season passes are on sale. Buy now for next year and ski the rest of this season for free. Stop out or visit us online to get your season pass today. Sale ends March 12th. Welcome to ESCO. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Help us celebrate our anniversary with big savings. The more you buy, the more you save. Buy one item, save 10%. Buy two items, save 15%. Buy three or more items, save 20%. The sale is good in all departments, even carpeting. The more you buy, the more you save sale. This month only at Wesco and Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup is always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. Team. Team. You earned this moment. This was not our finest moment. Now let's, let's go, go to McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah! There's a deal for every celebration at McDonald's. Enjoy 20-piece chicken McNuggets for just $6. What does it cost to buy off a judge? For extremist Dan Kelly, he's for sale for $20,000. In 2020, Kelly conveniently changed his mind about whether to judge the Tim Zignego case. Kelly had recused himself. Then he pocketed $20,000 in contributions from Zignego and his family, and Kelly unrecused himself so he could judge the case. Justice shouldn't be for sale. Dan Kelly is too corrupt 
too extreme. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the limited time double bacon cheddar pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Nacho cheddar cheese sauce, crispy bacon, Canadian bacon? Now that is an expression. Change the way you pizza. Penny. Yes, Sheldon. Are you familiar with the workings of an internal combustion engine? No, Sheldon. There's a problem with your check engine light. No, it's working just fine. According to the owner's manual, when your check engine light is illuminated, you should take your car to Sleepy Hollow immediately. <laughs> your home of GM certified parts and service, Sleepy Hollow, your tri-state dealer. We can say that now. Viroqua, Caledonia, and now Cresco, Iowa. Make next winter fun for your family with Mount Lacrosse. Season passes are on sale. Buy now for next year and ski the rest of this season for free. Stop out or visit us online to get your season pass today. Sale ends March 12th. Visit the Early Bird Home Show, going on now at the Ford Store Home Improvements. Lowest prices of the year on your 2023 project. Windows, bathrooms, and more. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. With all this snowfall comes the chance of spring flooding along the banks of the Mississippi. NOAA released their spring flood outlook today, and up in Minnesota near the Twin Cities, experts say there are chances for moderate to severe flooding. Up there, it snowed six feet this year so far. The Mississippi and Hastings sitting at just under five feet. At its highest point in 1965, it hit 25 feet. Experts say there's about a 50% chance of hitting 18 feet this spring. And of course, snowfall across the Cooley region today. Let's head over to Eric with the latest. Right, Ken, as I said at the top of the hour, that winter storm warning is slowly being chiseled away and replaced with a winter weather advisory. Not here in the viewing area, but literally just to the west of us, it's starting to be replaced. And we'll tell you why coming up in about 20 seconds. Here's a look at the radar scan right now, and we'll go ahead and take a look here at the graphics. You can see over towards portions of Rusk County, Chippewa County, Dunn County, Eau Claire County, still seeing snow at this hour. But here's why that winter storm warning has been chiseled away, if you will, and replaced with a winter weather advisory. We're getting on the back end of this system right here. So uh, over towards Winnesheek, Alamakee County, you guys are starting to wrap up as well. Crawford and Richland County, you'll be wrapping up uh, fairly soon. Matter of fact, over the next hour, we can see it just slowly pushing its way off towards the east and the uh, southeast. So we'll keep an eye on this as we go into uh, the next several hours. So the Dean's List for tonight. Moderate snow is going to continue. As we mentioned, uh, four to eight inches of snow. That's the forecast. Some places have already seen as much as four inches of snow. Now the system is going to clear out when it's all said and done. It'll be Friday by the noon hour. So what to plan for? Low visibility due to wind, the slick roads and sidewalks, delays in your morning commute. That is the big thing. And as a matter of fact, look at the road conditions at this hour. You can see a lot of roads across the Cooley region completely covered. But just don't take the, my word on this map. Take a look at some of the cameras. Look here at this TV station. We're sitting at 30 degrees. It feels like 24 out there. Look at the wind out of the north northwest at six miles per hour. You go to Eau Claire, 29 degrees. It feels like 24 out there. It's snowing at this hour. Winds are out of the north northeast at five. You go to Menominee, 31 degrees. You can see the semis moving very slowly on the interstate. Feels like 24. And in Trempolo, good evening to you guys. You're at 30 and it feels like 28 degrees out there. So here's the latest on that winter storm warning. Winter storm warning is still in effect for the majority of the News 8 Now viewing area until six o'clock in the morning. Pepin County. Eau Claire County over towards uh, Clark County, Dunn County, and now Chippewa County. This is new as of uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, you guys are now under that winter weather advisory. Again, this goes until six o'clock in the morning. The precip chances, they're going to start dwindling down as we go into the overnight hours. There's six o'clock. We keep that 40% chance in there. Then they die down throughout the morning and afternoon hours. So follow me here with Sky Tracker, and we'll go ahead and time out when this thing's going to exit out of here. So here's 2 a.m. Like I said, Winnesheek, Alamakee County, Fillmore County, and then Houston County will be done by the early morning hours, and then everybody's going to be out of here or out of this uh, path of the system by the noon hour. We'll be left with mostly cloudy skies, and then we have to look towards the weekend as another low pressure system will push its way 
inland and you can see what happens here. This is Friday afternoon going into Friday evening. It pushes its way uh, through the Tetons, Grovans area, through the Black Hills region, uh, through portions of Minnesota, and then it hits the Cooley region again Saturday night into Sunday. So this is something that we'll have to keep an eye on as the weekend inches closer to the eight day. Now, one thing you can do to stay ahead of that system like you did this past system, just make sure you have the free News 8000 First Run Weather app on your device to receive the latest information, especially as we go into the weekend. So the details of the first one forecast for tonight. We'll see temperatures in the mid 20s. The snow is going to continue. The winds are going to pick up. They'll be out of the northwest about five to 10 miles per hour. Some places seeing gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. As we head into your Friday TGIF, we're going to keep that precip chance in the forecast by the eight o'clock hour with temperatures in the upper 20s. We're going to get above freezing by the afternoon and early evening hours. The next eight days we go to 35 Saturday, 35 Sunday. We'll have a ride around freezing for Monday and then Ken, how about 40s with rain chances for Wednesday and Thursday? So we've got to get past the next few days, yep. but then we have the mid 40s and rain chances. All right. Thanks very much, Eric. You bet. Coming up next in sports, we'll head to the Resch Center up in Green Bay. The Aquinas Blue Golds back at state and the girls came ready to play. Robin Cade have the full coverage next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or specialty care, Mayo Clinic Health System offers the best options for care where and when you and your family needs it. Sexual assault of an 11 year old. No prison time. He raped a military veteran, left her for dead just two and a half years. Raped a mentally disabled 14 year old. Probation. How the heck did this happen? Janet Protasiewicz. If you could go back in time, would you have ruled any differently? I would say no. Really? No time in prison? I would say no. Protasiewicz set violent criminals free. Again and again. Tell Judge Protasiewicz, stop protecting criminals. People that have come to me for financial coaching have told me that they've learned more from me in 10 minutes than they did with their other guy in 10 years. Or they'll tell me, I've never looked at things from that angle before. If you wanna learn more about financial management and your future, come see me, I'll do it for free. No invoice, give the money man a call at Firefighters Credit Union, let's make things happen. You'll find the Ram you're looking for at Pischke Motors in West Salem or Pischke Motors in the Cross. During Ram Truck Month, you'll get $9,000 off MSRP with discounts and rebates on a 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn 4x4 or 1.9% financing for 72 months. The Bighorn makes easy work of your towing, hauling, and performance needs. Stop by today because this offer ends March 31st. Start your search at Pischke.com and then drive away in your new Ram. That one's money. Yeah. That's a sick bike. Boys. Miss Sanderson? See you Monday. No way. Covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports. Another big day for high school sports. Boys continue their postseason fun in the girls' state tournament got underway. We had two teams compete today. Our own Rob Schiff was in Green Bay for day one. Rob, how'd it go? The best of the best taking over Green Bay for the next few days with the ultimate goal of being called a state champ. It's been a wild ride for the West Salem girls basketball team, but for the first time in 26 years, the Panthers oh, are back in the state bad. tournament. Go to the Rush Center in Green Bay for the D3 state semifinal. West Salem taking on Kiwaskum pick it up first half. Indians in control early on. Morgan Adams spots up from deep and drains the three. Indians would jump ahead by seven. Panthers punch right back. Other end, Sam Niemeyer. Nice fake, and she drops it in for two. West Salem cuts it back to five. 
but Kiwaskum kept finding an answer, and it's Adams again driving to the cup for two more. Indians still out in front, but the Panthers not backing down. Adam McConkie comes up short, but don't worry, Megan Johnson right there for the rebound and put back West Salem within one. Then later in the half, Panthers finally pull ahead. Johnson with the runner puts it in. West Salem would take the lead, but the Indians go into the break up three. Second half now, Kiwaskum up six, but the Panthers clawing back. The freshman, Josie Brudos, knocks down the three. It's 26-23 Indians. Then later in the half, it's Brudos again. Nice catch at the cup, and the freshman puts in two more. Panthers cut it back to one, but the Indians eventually pull away. Great ball movement, and Julius Steger goes off the glass for two. Kiwaskum jumps ahead by seven, and the Panthers come up short in the state semifinal, 46-34. To Division 4 we go. Aquinas looking for its first state title since 2019, taking on Michicot in the state semifinal. And the Blue Golds shining bright on the biggest stage. They've been sharpshooters all season long. And Thursday night was just another show. Autumn Pasail feeling it from downtown in the first half. The senior pulling up from everywhere. No doubt. Pasail on fire. Blue Golds up big. Then it's Macy Donarski's turn, the senior from the top of the key. Book it, Aquinas in complete control, but the Blue Golds were just getting warmed up. Maddie Murphy going to the cup strong, pretty finished by the junior. It's a 16-point lead, and Pasail not cooling off anytime soon. Blue Golds shoot 50% from downtown in the first half. Indians trying to hang in. Kaylee Talachka banks it off the window. Still a 17-point lead for Aquinas at the break. And the Blue Golds keeping their foot on the gas all night long. Second half, it's the freshman Sammy Davis crashing the boards, going up strong for the putback. Aquinas rolling up 19, and everyone getting involved. How about Shea Barr chipping in from deep? Nothing but the bottom of the net. It's 42-21 Blue Golds. And then check this out, Donarski getting fancy in the paint. Nice fake and finish for two. Blue Golds are one win away from a state title. They storm past Michicot in the semis, 79 to 55. Being able to get through them and then having the opportunity to play for a gold ball, which has been our goal all year, um, is really exciting, and we're going to be ready to go. A monster night for Pasale, six of seven from downtown. She finishes with a game high, 24 points, and the Blue Golds are on their way to the state final game Saturday. That's going to do it from Green Bay. Okay, let's go back to you. Awesome stuff, Rob. Thanks a ton. All right, switching gears to the boys' postseason. A few of our sectional semifinal games got pushed back to tomorrow. But Lacrosse Central made the trip north for their big game against Medford. The Riverhawks two wins away from getting back to Madison. Central just the three seed in the sectional. Medford the top one seed. First half action, and how about Bennett Freed fighting off the double team, driving to the hoop, and lays it in. Riverhawks out in front. Medford staying in it. Zach Rudolph driving, finds Ty Metz under the basket. That's good for two. Raiders still trail, but Central stay in control. Bennett Freed finds Henry Meyer on the inbounds, and Meyer with a nice touch here gets the layup to go. Central on top. Later in the half, in transition, Boston Brindley finds Freed. And look out, the two hand slam with authority. Central would go into the break up six. And in the second half, that lead would only grow. Henry Meyer for three. Cash. Meyer had 23 as the Riverhawks. They get the win 57 to 41. They are now one game away from state. And over at Osseo, the Whitehall Norsemen battled against Fall Creek. Luke Beagley would kick things off for the Norris, clash, cashing in from downtown early, and then Beagley showing he can do it on both ends of the court as he rejects the shot with authority. Let's go later in the half. Seth Lembeck finds a cutting Colton Pank as he lays it in off the window for two. The Norris would go up nine. Fall Creek trying to climb back in it. Bovora throws down the jam, but Isaac Stan Steinke swats the Norseman's three-point attempt into the student section, but Beagley cannot be stopped tonight as the Norris would go on to win 59-54. to All right, Bucks with the best record in the NBA. They're at home against the Nets tonight. No Giannis in this one, but Bobby Portis didn't care. Puts him in the spin cycle. The fadeaway finds the bottom of the net. Bucks up 11. Second quarter now, Chris Middleton trying to be Green Bay's next starting QB. Cross court pass to Portis. Touchdown is good. I mean, field goal is good. Bucks up 22. Nets made a bit of a comeback, but this was Brooke Lopez's night. His ninth block of the game seals the deal as the Bucks win again, 118 to 113. We'll be right back. 
During Markdown Madness at Dahl Auto, choose from over 700 vehicles at six Dahl dealerships. Then make no payments until June. Plus, sell or trade your old car to get an extra 500 over book value. This month only at Dahl Auto. Thinking about a better bathroom? Thinking about converting your tub to a shower for safety and convenience? Or replacing what you have with something new, attractive, and easy to care for? Comfort height toilet? New cabinet, sink, and faucet? New flooring? New light fixtures? Designers to assist you, carpenters, electricians, and plumbers to do it all. The lowest price of the year during the 20th annual Early Bird Home Show only at the board store. Don't miss it. Test one, two. Test one, two. He's going to speak now. The bad news. Most cell companies only give you discounts if you meet their hidden requirements. I bet he says the good news now. The good news. U.S. Cellular gives you $830 off any phone when you choose an unlimited evolved plan. No plan restrictions or trade-ins needed. Oh, so nice. So, friend who always has a broken phone can finally get a new one. It's just a scratch. <laughs> it's broken. No. Oh. Ooh. It's busted. We're good. <laughs> oh, no. Get $830 off any phone with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. There's never been a better time to enjoy quality Flex Steel furniture than right now during the Flex Steel factory authorized sale at Drury's in Fountain. You'll save on the latest casual sofas, chairs that say, take me home, stunning sectionals, even luxurious leather sofas and recliners. Every Flex Steel style is included in your choice of over 2,000 designer fabrics and leathers, all at the best prices of the year. Unlimited choices, big savings, and special 12-month interest refinancing. It's happening now at Drury's in Fountain. From the beginning, they were applauded. The music that sold over 100 million records. Chicago. May 10th, 7 p.m. Lacrosse Center. The music of Chicago. May 10th, 7 p.m. Lacrosse Center. On sale now at the box office or online at Ticketmaster.com. Chicago. Chicago's new album, Born for This Moment, with the hit song, If This Is Goodbye. Available now. Selling your car yourself can take weeks. Selling to an online reseller takes days. Selling your car to Dahl Auto takes 30 minutes. And you'll get an extra $500 over book value. Dahl Auto. Simple. Welcome back. An Onalaska runner is donating $1,000 to the La Crosse Area YMCA. Manny Putz was named the Gatorade Wisconsin Runner of the Year after winning a cross-country individual state title last fall for Hilltopper Cross Country. And as part of the Gatorade Honors, Putz is able to award a $1,000 grant to a community effort that's important to him. He and his dad helped research some community-based nonprofits, but the why was closest to his heart. I used to go to here for daycare and um, like the people here are super nice, the facility is really nice and like they got all the equipment you need and I literally come here every day and I thought it was perfect to show like how much like I love this place. Now Putz also runs for Onalaska Varsity Track so he's hopeful he can win Gatorade Runner of the Year honors this spring so he can donate another thousand to the Y. Selfless guy. We'll be right back with a final check of your forecast. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At By Goff and Rody, that's how we get results. There are so many things we take for granted. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. At Culiato, we care about making buying and servicing your cars an effortless process. From our fair pricing to our friendly staff, we are accountable to the Cooley region and are now focused on offering you the best service possible with Cooley Auto Service Center. Cooley Auto Service Center is engaged in providing you with honest, affordable, and reliable service. Service you need, care you deserve. Find out more at CooleyAuto.com. Convicted felon kidnapped and raped a 15-year-old girl, abducting her off the street in broad daylight. Judge Janet Protasewicz could have sentenced him to 20 years. Instead, she put him back on our streets. What detractors would say is you having been soft on a, a violent sexual crime. I would say that that's ridiculous. 
Judge Protasewicz puts our families at risk, and putting her on our Supreme Court, that's what's ridiculous. Fair Courts America is responsible for the content of this advertising. Dutch Boy Paint gives every room of your home a fresh new look. With over 1,300 colors to choose from, you're sure to find the perfect look for your interior. Pick up a gallon and update your home with DuraClean Interior Paint. Just $21.97 after 11% rebate. For a paint that's washable, scrubbable, and stain resistant, choose Forever Interior Paint and Primer in one. Create a new look for your home for $29.98 per gallon after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. I've practiced personal injury law for four years. For 20 years. For 32 years. All I do every day is help injured people get the compensation that they deserve. At By Golf and Rody, that's how we get results. Don't forget, lacrosse, we are under a snow emergency. Uh, there's your hour by hour for tomorrow. We'll see temperatures in the upper 20s, snow chances diminish. Make sure you tune in to Derek Sibley at 5 a.m. to see he gets you out the door. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.